Well, good morning, everybody. Happy Valentine's Day. Hopefully you uh, got out and got something for your Valentine, or you're gonna be in trouble when you get home, so do that. We only have one inner watch item uh, to go over today, and it's one that we've already talked about this weekend, but there's some new information that we wanted to put out today. So it's the burglary at the P4 Firearms. That case number is 17C009469. It was a burglary at P4 Firearms located in the 1500 block of North Broadway. This occurred back on February 11th at approximately 5.15 a.m. On February 11th, P4 Firearms located in the 1500 block of North Broadway was burglarized by an unknown suspect or suspects. 37 firearms were stolen from the business. The ATF, the Bureau of Alcohol, Tobacco, and Firearms, is working with the police department on this case. The Bureau of Alcohol, Tobacco, and Firearms and Explosives and the National Shooting Sports Foundation, which is the NSSF, the Trade Association for the Firearms Industry, are offering a reward for information leading to the arrest and conviction of those responsible for the theft of the firearms at P4 Firearms. ATF is offering a reward up to $5,000 and the NSSF will match for a total possible reward of $10,000. We would ask anybody with information about this burglary to contact the ATF at 1-800-ATF-GUNS. That's 1-800-283-4867. You can email atftips at atf.gov or contact ATF through its website at www.atf.gov. Uh, contacts and then ATF tips. Uh, all tips and calls will be kept confidential. Again, so they're offering up to a $10,000 reward for the uh, information on the person that was responsible for the burglary at P4 Firearms where 37 firearms were taken. Now a list of the serial numbers are out on both Facebook and through the local media. We put those out this weekend and those were directly from P4 Firearms. We would urge anyone that is thinking about buying a firearm from an individual to do your due diligence in finding out if that gun is in fact stolen. Now if a person buys a gun that is stolen and then has contact with a police department who will check that gun to see if it's stolen, that person can face misdemeanor possession of stolen property charges even though they didn't know that the gun was stolen. And it works the same way as any kind of property that you buy. So we would just ask that you do your due diligence and uh, check. You can contact uh, local police departments. Uh, substations to find out if the serial number is on file, is stolen, and then obviously we would urge you to uh, contact authorities and not purchase that firearm. Were those all different types of firearms? They were. They were, in the, and the comprehensive list is the one that P4 actually put out with the serial numbers, the make, the models, and everything. Um, it's on our Facebook, and I know um, obviously it's been shared numerous, numerous times. So if we could get that out again, just to make sure that you know a, a, an individual that legally wants to purchase a firearm is not purchasing something stolen that's going to get them in trouble in the future. What's your biggest concern when you have so many firearms stolen from the store? And that's kind of the absolutely. Firearm. Absolutely, and, and obviously it's a, it's a concern not only for the department, but the community. I mean, that's a lot of firearms that are out, um, you know, and, and we don't know the suspects. We don't know what their intention is of, of those firearms. So that's why our partners at ATF, you know, have stepped up a lot. They're helping us investigate the case, and then that's when that $10,000 reward came in. So definitely somebody's out there that knows uh, the individual that did this, and uh, they, can, they can get quite a bit of cash if, if that uh, information is called in and leads to the arrest. So we're hoping that, hoping that our community steps up and, and we don't have any um, suspect description or uh, videos or photos to put out right now. So we're just hoping that somebody knows uh, that a suspect has these firearms and we'll turn them in. Again, it's all confidential. Nobody will ever ask your name um, and you can get, get money. Okay. Is there an approximate dollar value on this? I don't have it. I, I, I think there is, and, and I can probably look that up for you as soon as we get done. I just don't have it on me. Okay. Is there any update on uh, Officer Arnburn's health? Uh, still in critical. Still at the hospital, still critical. Um, he's definitely a fighter, so he's fighting, but, but still the same. Okay. Thanks, guys. Enjoy your day.